what's going to get get us heated because we love to argue. We love to <laughs> yeah. debate that you'll That's hear good. us yelling. So, um, what inspired you guys to start this radio show? Um, well, we just saw the College of Charleston Sister Yard Radio at one of the fairs and, um, thought it would be really cool. There's a lot of good opportunities for you when you join that organization. You can go to different shows and concerts and things like that. And so just when we come up with our idea, we were thinking of something that everybody could kind of be into, but at the same time, we can make really personal by picking movies that we like and soundtracks that um, maybe you guys haven't heard before. Okay. So what goes into preparing for each of your shows and what do you aim to accomplish with each show? Um, so really, we just have to go. We made like kind of like a big database list of movies that we really like um, that have really great soundtracks and then we just kind of go back through them and we think what kind of mood are we in what do we want to do the next um, week and then uh, we pick the movie and then we just go through pick our favorite songs and get a list together and then um, once we make the playlist we just see how long it is and see which ones we really want to talk about and you know what's going to get get us heated because we love to argue we love to <laughs> yeah. debate that you'll hear us yelling so. we do a lot of theme shows as well so right. like christmas time december we'll do christmas movies exciting things like that so and we like to get the audience involved as well so we have our social media that people can um leave what shows they want us to talk okay. about very cool um so being that your radio show is all about film and film soundtracks what are some current upcoming movies um with like interesting soundtracks that you think everyone should watch current upcoming movies a lot of the marvel no. movies are coming yeah. out there's a lot of cool marvel movies so an action soundtrack um i don't really know if they'll have, have very good soundtrack well i don't they'll have a score of some sort yeah <laughs> i don't know I, i'm not really sure i don't know if there are <laughs> there are really? no good films oh coming out. God. Don't go to well, the movies not in twenty eighteen. Not with like amazing soundtracks and scores, right. things that you want to like. What about in this do? past year? Oh, in past year, Baby Driver, Driver came out. Baby Driver, Baby Driver, amazing soundtrack. I loved it. Um, I it loved had a really good soundtrack too. Stranger it. Things is a TV show, but mm -hmm. their soundtrack, <laughs> amazing. Okay. I love it. Um, so, at what point in the film creation process do like film soundtracks and scores come about? Uh, yeah, so most of that is probably done like in the editing once they have most of the filming done or the animation and they know what cues and where they want to like add the music in. Mm -hmm. So if you're scoring a movie, the composer will come in and compose it based on that and then with soundtracks you'll just pick a song. <laughs> there, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and can you tell us the difference kind of between a film score and a film soundtrack? Yeah, film scores are originally composed music, normally instrumentals. So like Hans Zimmer, a lot of like action movies and stuff. Though that's just like the music. And then soundtracks will be songs that they put in there that are by like bands and other artists that already put out. Yeah. Cool. Um, and so you already said there's nothing really spectacular that you're looking forward to yet <laughs> for 2018. Yes. So the next thing we're going to do is do like a little rapid fire, um, like can you guess the soundtrack to the movie. So this is the first one. Let me pull it up. <laughs> what movie is this song from? The Bodyguard? Yeah. Yeah. It's The Bodyguard. Okay. <laughs> Good job. First one down. The next <laughs> song. Let me see. Okay. Oh, that's Twilight. Twilight. You guys. Yes. So we just okay. did a Twilight. <laughs> we just did a show, Twilight. So okay. we know all that. Alright. Next song. This is one of my favorites. Oh, it's, it's a lot of pressure now. <laughs> oh, oh, Fifty Shades. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> and then the last song that we're going to do. This is 
the fun one. <laughs> oh, Chicago. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so you guys are pretty good at that. Thanks. <laughs> like, like, between the two of us. All right, so the last thing that we're going to do is a series of rapid fire questions. Um, so just pick a favorite. I'm going to give you two options, and you have to pick a favorite. Quick as you can. Okay. We have okay. to be in sync. Wait. Alright. We have to be in sync. Okay. Alright. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Will Ferrell or Adam Sandler? Will Ferrell. Or. I don't like either one of those. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. The Notebook or the Titanic? Titanic? Notebook. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, Hitchcock or Spielberg? Spielberg. Hitchcock. <laughs> oh, really? All right. Um, Netflix or theater? Netflix. 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 Okay. Uh, fantasy or mystery? Mystery. Fantasy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Horror or comedy? Horror. Horror. All right. Something we can agree on. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, better actor: Meryl Streep or Jack Nicholson? It's a tough one to completely. I guess so, Nicholson. Yeah, I would say Meryl's very iconic. They're both iconic, but Jack, I'll say Jack. Yeah. Okay. All right. Best scoring, Star Wars or Indiana Jones? Best score? Star Wars. Star Wars. Yeah, okay. I think so. I don't know. They're both iconic. I'll go with <laughs> Star Wars. I'll go with Star, Star Wars. Wars. Okay. And then the last question is a question that I think everyone has asked themselves. Could Jack have fit on the door with Rose in the Titanic? Yes. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. It was the size of like a <laughs> table. It wasn't even a door. It was like a boat Probably. itself. <laughs> See, I like to think about the buoyancy and could they right. have stayed afloat? <laughs> Is oh was it it was either one or neither? That's how I like to see it. Okay. Take turns. If yeah, 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 yeah. See, that, see, that was my thought. I don't. I didn't think they would both survive on the door, but right. they could have shifted. You know. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. Okay. So, can you tell us what time every week to tune in to your show? Yes, it's time. Thursdays at five. Thursdays at five. at five. Okay. Or a little bit after sometimes. <laughs> Some difficulties. Okay. All right. That's it. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.